What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about default populate. So default populate is a pretty simple to use but very powerful property in payload that you can use on the collection level to help optimize your requests. I'm just going to jump right into it here. I've got our website template pulled up. We've got our header and we've got links to posts, links to pages. And I'm going to show you what the API response looks like now. And it's massive because we're getting back all the data from every field on every post and every page that we currently are referencing. And what that's going to do is significantly reduce the performance of your app. You know, we've only got a few pages linked here, but imagine we've got a mega menu with anywhere from 5, 10, 20 links in there. That is going to be a massive request every time that thing loads. So what we can do is use default populate and specify exactly what data we want back from what field. So I'm going to reduce, I'm going to uncomment this here. So all you do is the field title and you set it to true. And that's going to say, I only want the data from title and slope. So we head back over here, refresh. You can see the amount of JSON we're getting back has been significantly reduced and that's Give me a huge optimization if you've, you're making references to collections everywhere throughout your app. So it just it gives you fine grained control over what fields are populated when referencing another collection. You can use this the other way around too. So say you've got a use case where you want all the data except one field or a certain set of fields. You would just define you would just write out the field name and then set that to false and then you'll get all of this except those fields right so you might be thinking that this sounds a lot like depth this sounds similar to the select function and they do function in a similar fashion so depth for example that controls how many levels deep you can traverse into your relationships so say you have a menu for example which has a link to a post, which has a link to an author. You know, with a depth of two, you're gonna get back the data from the post and the data from the author, unless you restrict it with default populate or select. Now select on the other hand, allows you to explicitly define what fields should be included or excluded in your API response. So it's just another way to fine tune your queries even further. And so while all three uh, default populate, depth, select, help control the size and the shape of your data. They just, they work at different levels of the, of the request. So used together, they just, they give you complete flexibility over your app to keep it lean and to keep it fast. So that's all I've got for you today. Hope this was helpful.